Here's a new track called Hammer on Hammer by Jethro Tull, coming from the upcoming album Rock Float, and is one you will not yet experienced. It's the third track released in advance ahead of the main release on the 21st of April. Let me tell you about it so that you can make up your own mind. If you're new to this channel, my name is Dave and I'm from the UK and I react to rock tracks and albums that have featured over the last 60 years. There's an overview of the song coming next on this channel and there's a link to the full video that's free on my Patreon channel. There'll be a link in the description below where you can access that. Nice, quiet opening. Saturn with sacred belt. And there she blows. It's quite uh, short but sweet that one is. Mm. So it's a plain opening with an Anderson flute and a John O'Hara keyboard playing before Anderson opens with his now half whispered, half spoken singing style. Where a person's strength is likened to the strength of metal being fashioned on an anvil. Now the process of metal being hit over a hammer over and over was used by blacksmiths to toughen the consistency and is symbolic with this track. The words develop plans being put into place to trap a, an almighty opponent. This is clearly based on mythology but there's more than half a passing resemblance to the events going on in today's work. Musically it has a true progressive feel to it as the excellent guitar work of Joe Parrish has a chance to develop and as Anderson himself starts a flute solo par excellence, the real issue of 2023 Tull arises. Because just as the track appears to launch into the grandeur of yesteryear, it's cruelly curtailed as if some obscene maximum song length between three and five minutes has been inflicted on the band, forcing them to release what appears to be little more than a radio edit for this song. That's a shame, that's a disappointment. And if this track and indeed album does fail, then it will be because of that reason, in my opinion. This was an ideal opportunity for the whole band to let fly and show us what they're all made of, but the truth is they just didn't. Anderson is excellent on flute as ever, Parrish is on, on guitar, O'Hara on keys, Scott Drummond on drums and David Goodyear on bass give competent performances that will suggest live performances will be on point moving forward. Now there's a link to the full video in the description as we said, as well as a of how to buy a copy of the album the track has come from. This track is the first of these pre-release trio where I've been left genuinely disappointed. But I welcome your thoughts and comments below as to what you exactly thought as well. If you've enjoyed this reaction, subscribe to the channel for similar videos. And I'll see you again next time on the Album Review Channel. Bye for now.